Daniel Krawitz is a writer, uh, crypto uh, photographer from the Satoshi Nakamoto Institute. Please welcome Daniel Krawitz. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm a software engineer. I'm not really a cryptographer. I, I, I understand cryptography well enough to, uh, to uh, implement it in software. So my talk is called um, Ancapistan Contest. And the reason it's called that is every time you correctly state Bitcoin's future in public, you create a contest to realize it because Bitcoin evolves by profit seeking. So necessarily any correct statement about Bitcoin's future reveals profit opportunities. And uh, in Bitcoin, it's better to be ahead. So there's a contest to do it first. And uh, I'm going to argue that uh, Bitcoin's future is anarcho-capitalist. Um, and the, the reason somebody would um, state Bitcoin's future in public, give, I mean, normally you wouldn't, wouldn't want to reveal profit opportunities, right? So the reason somebody might do that is because Bitcoin is cooperative. So I, I can't do everything myself. Um, and, uh, but, but, but you need to think about uh, what, whatever people say. It, it's not like um, uh, uh, you, you, have to, you have to exercise judgment anytime somebody is uh, claiming to be initiating a, a contest like that. So uh, this is Leviathan, and uh, this is from the cover of the book Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. And if you look at the picture, you can see that Leviathan is made out of lots of tiny people who are all looking at his face. Um, so it's a hub and spokes network. And uh, Leviathan exists because everyone is looking at him. So Leviathan says, Ignorance of the law is no excuse. And that means don't stop looking at me or I'll punish you. You have to stay connected to the hub and spokes Leviathan ne network. Where's, where's Bitcoin in the picture? Does anybody know? Bitcoin is the sky. Because you, can, uh, you, can't, you can't not look at Bitcoin. You just look anywhere into the internet and there it is. The blockchain is, is easy to find, right? So Bitcoin is the sky and um, um, uh, well, I, I think that's, that's how you should imagine it. So chap chapter two, socialist calculation argument. So uh, Ludwig von Mises, uh, what he said is that the, the alternative to a system in which everyone is profit seeking in the same unit is central planning. Uh, so you can either use, use money and profit seeking for everybody in society to coordinate with one another, or you have a central point that attempts to collect and integrate all information and tell everybody what to do. And in a, a non-capitalist economy, people, people don't know what is the, the most economically viable activity for them to perform, or I should say, they, they cannot, they can't collect information about it because uh, the market isn't telling them how much things cost, right? So at any point where, where you are, you're at a localized point in the economy, um, you, you can 
you can use your individual information to uh, determine uh, what, is, what, is your, what is your most economically viable activity by, by profit seeking, right? Because the prices of everything tell you about the rest of the market and you know about your local situation so you can figure out how, how to do something good for the whole economy by figuring out what earns you a profit. But if we don't have that, then we have, have to use central planning, right? A and central planning is inefficient because of the, the need to centralize all information and process it at a, a central point. Uh, and not, not just that, but the, um, the, the impossibility of centralizing all information makes it inefficient. Because you would have to know everything that, that everybody knows. And, and not all knowledge can be uh, easily articulated, right? So, um, So when you have a service that is funded by taxation, what that means is I don't want to compare opportunity cost. Because when everybody is um, improving the economy via profit seeking, all activities are compared to one another. And everything, uh, uh, we, can, we can compare the opportunity cost of all activities. But if you want to be funded by taxation, that means you don't want to optimize. And you don't want to know how valuable the service is relative to alternatives. OK, chapter three, uh, mining. In Bitcoin, uh, mining is a, a model of anarcho-capitalism because miners earn income out of the whole system. So you, if you are a miner, if you get more hash power, that gives you a, a larger fraction of the total income earned by the Bitcoin economy, it co income in transaction fees, I should say. But you don't know what, what you're getting when you get the, the hash power, right? What, what you get is whatever the whole Bitcoin economy gets. So um, when, when you're a miner, you want to be the first to improve the economy because then you get a higher fraction of total hash power more cheaply. So, uh, and you, you, want to, you want to buy hash power while the economy is improving, because then, uh, then you get a higher fraction of, of the total more cheaply, right? So, um, if you know how to improve the Bitcoin economy, then what you can do is, well, then, then you, you have control. You, you know when the economy is improving if you're doing it yourself, right? So one thing that you can do is improve the economy and buy more hash power at the same time. And uh, you want to balance these two activities uh, for maximum profit. But the, the profit comes from the hash power. It doesn't come directly from however you improve, improve the economy, right? So that means that miners are incentivized to provide public goods for the Bitcoin economy. So anything that a neoclassical economist would claim is a public good that can only be provided by government is something that would be reasonable for a miner to provide to the Bitcoin economy because they, they will all be competing to improve the economy first. And they, and they get their income out of the, the hash power that they 
it at the same time. So uh, I should have had a picture here, but I didn't think to. But I, I think that the, the best Bitcoin business is, uh, is like, a, like a herd animal that has horns or antlers, and hash power is like the antlers, because that's a costly signal that generates attention from the other herd animals. And, and, uh, and, and um, you, you need that in order to, um, to create the coordination between, between everybody. But, but you also need uh, improvements to the economy itself. That's, that's like the, the body of the animal. Okay? So anytime somebody asks you who will build the roads, all you have to say is Bitcoin takes over the world and then the miners will build the roads. Um, I guess I have a blank slide there. So now, um, uh, chapter, chapter four, um, when, uh, okay, we'll wait. Let, let's go back to Leviathan for a second. So people can coordinate through Bitcoin uh, without de needing the hub and spokes Leviathan network anymore. So they, they can, they, and they don't need to all look in the same direction, right? Because Bitcoin is the sky. So they can look anywhere. So if people started to look in random directions, um, Leviathan would be gone because his existence is, is based on uh, the fact that everybody is looking at him. So, um, but he, he's going to try to punish people who look away because that's, that's, that's what, um, oh. That's what this means, remember? But it is rational for people to try to look away as much as they can get away with because uh, Bitcoin is the producer of the costly signal. So it's more likely that the, uh, the Bitcoin signal will have important information that, that the people actually need. Um, so one of the things that Leviathan can do to get more attention is to become a Bitcoin miner. Um, and uh, be, because I, I think that the, the Bitcoin economy is more efficient than uh, the the mixed economy with the, with the, uh, the government central planner, uh, I think that governments will eventually learn that more hash power is better than more weapons. Um, okay, well, let's, let's not congratulate ourselves too much yet. But yeah, write, write to your local politician and tell them that we need to increase the national hash power for national security or something. Um, so, oh, so more on mining. Um, all, all the miners do the same thing when they're trying to get more hash power, right? They're all, uh, uh, each, the, uh, getting, getting more hash power, that's, the, that's a, an equal activity for, for everybody, at, at least uh, the, um, uh, uh, it, it's like, a, like a, a race and everybody's doing the same thing. But the other, the other thing that miners need to do, which is improve the Bitcoin economy, those are all uh, different, right? Because what you want to do is figure out what, what is your differential superiority, right? In other words, how, how are you better than the other miners. Um, uh, and you want to do that. 
And, and when all the miners are doing this, they're all kind of, um, uh, uh, they're all hel helping each other out, right? They're all finding their, their own niche. So I think that the, the niche that uh, a government miner can fill is uh, by shrinking. Because they can improve the Bitcoin economy by existing less. So if they want, they want to get more hash power, uh, that's, that's what they should do. They reduce central planning. That's their differential superiority as a, a Bitcoin miner. So I think uh, central planning is an energy leak and miners need to find sources of energy to bring into the Bitcoin economy because central pl planning is inefficient relative to capitalism so it's an energy leak. So bring more energy into the Bitcoin economy to get more hash power by shrinking. And uh, that's, that's how I think uh, Bitcoin leads to anarcho-capitalism. Any, any questions? Yeah, you can take a couple questions. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Well, I don't see any. Who's, who, is anybody raising their hands? I got three minutes for you. Uh, well, if, if a government tries to take over the, the mining in their nation uh, by force. Uh, in, in the long run, that just means that there, there won't be more production of, of hash power in that nation. Because uh, hash power can only exist if there's real production going on. So uh, attempts to interfere with the economy will make um, uh, will just make make that government uh less uh less competitive with the rest of the world any other questions uh uh the okay, the, the question was, the, the goal is to allow more profit-seeking. Uh, yes, I, I, think, I think so. I think that's a good goal. Coco, it's so hype, I'm trying to tell ya This the event of the year And best vacation ever Ryan's part of Jeffrey Tucker Just to name a few Get your tickets, you don't want to miss it You should roll through Talking politics to health and self-improvement To investing, so many things, not one thing Learn how to live life unchained, yeah Four days vibing on the beach Time to connect, all about growth Way more than a conference This is Anarchapoco, yeah Let's go you ain't seen nothing yet.